Down now to turn around of business. For that, Yuka Rowe joins us here in the studio. Very good evening to you. Hi, Mark. A historic milestone for Boeing as its first test flight carrying humans to space has finally been launched. Tell us more. Well, Boeing's CST-100 Starliner capsule lifted off from Cape Canaveral in Florida just under two hours ago to take two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. The launch comes two years after the Starliner completed its first unmanned test flight to the ISS. Two previous crewed launch attempts failed, including one last Saturday, which was called off less than four minutes before liftoff. Having separated from an Atlas V rocket, the capsule is now on on its own and is planned to dock with the ISS on Thursday. On board, two veteran astronauts, Barry Wilmore and Suni Williams, who had spent the last few weeks in quarantine to protect their health. Rocked by a series of crises involving its commercial passenger jets, Boeing badly needs a win in space market. So tell us more, uh, Yuka, about this program. It's an example of uh, NASA partnering with private firms to explore space? Well, after shutting down the space shuttle program back in 2011, NASA was looking for ways to return American astronauts to space and break its reliance on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft. So in 2014, the agency awarded contracts to Boeing and SpaceX to carry astronauts to the International Space Station to the tune of $4.2 billion and $2.6 billion, respectively. But while SpaceX, which received less funding, made steady progress and quickly emerged as the world's leading space company, Boeing faced several setbacks. A series of technical problems led to years of delays and more than $1.4 billion in cost overruns. As NASA gave a fixed price contract, the additional cost has added to Boeing's burdens. Despite being a long-time NASA contractor for modules and parts, the aerospace giant had never built its own operational spacecraft and repeated hardware and software issues led to repeated delays, Mark. And as you were saying, Yuka, in the meantime, SpaceX has thrived. Well, it successfully took astronauts to the ISS back in 2020 and has since been flying regularly with its Crew Dragon capsule being NASA's only vehicle for sending crew members to the orbiting lab. Elon Musk's company has delivered supplies as well to the IS, ISS over 20 times and sent more than 50 people to orbit, including tourists. Its last crewed NASA mission was back in March with four international astronauts. In 2021, the agency awarded the firm a $2.9 billion contract to use its Starship to land astronauts on the moon. A fourth test flight for that mission could come as early as Thursday, when Boeing's Starliner will be attempting to dock with the ISS. Now then, um, back down to Earth now. Uh, we're heading to Brazil, the world's top exporter of beef, and uh, home to the most expensive cow in the world. I'm intrigued. Well, cows are important. The annual Cattle Fair uh, ex uh, Expo Zebu recently set a record for sales at cattle auctions. Elite pedigree cows and bulls are used for breeding and regularly fetch high prices. One cow in particular has made international headlines valued at a whopping $4 million. Leo McQuinn has more. It's less of a catwalk, more of a cow walk at Brazil's main cattle fair. The best in the business are shown off at this year's Expo Zebu, ready to be auctioned off to the highest bidder. While the country's economy has not been especially prosperous over the last decade, its agribusiness sector has boomed, much of it coming from beef. We have reason to celebrate our livestock industry. Brazil exported more than 2 million tonnes of fresh beef last year, a historical record. Today, we are the largest exporter of this protein. In fact, Brazil is now the biggest exporter of beef in the world. Last year, the country was far ahead of its biggest competitor, India. Maybe that should come as no surprise, as Brazil has more cows than people. One in particular, called Viatina 19, has become something of a celebrity. She's the most expensive cow in the world, valued at over $4 million. It's now common practice to extract the eggs and semen from champion animals, create embryos and implant them in surrogate cows, hoping that they will produce the next magnificent specimens. She can't just be limited to Brazil. If she is the best, we need to share her around the world. And the commercial way to do that is to export its genetics. And we are going to seek that path going forward. At the same time, Climate scientists say that people need to consume less beef, 
with cows responsible for nearly 10% of all greenhouse gas emissions. Animal business there. I've never seen a cow that size, that it, shape. It's phenomenal. It looked kind of divine, didn't it? Wow. I, I grew up in the kind of countryside and we, we see cows all the time. They don't even look like that. It's amazing stuff. Thank you. You're up with the business. Thank you very much indeed.